Let us give the Lord a clap praise, everyone. And we thank him in advance for what he will be doing. Thank you, Jesus. And so we call on Brother Dove to come with the welcome. Are you blessed to be here? Amen. If you are blessed, let me hear you say hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. And so we are happy to be in the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let me ask by chance. I don't believe so still, but let me ask. Is there anyone here for the very first time? Alright, that's part one of the question. Part two, is there anyone online for the first time? Just wave your hand. I cannot see you, but God can see you. Just wave your hand wherever you are. Setting anywhere you're sitting. Just wave your hand. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Praise God. Welcome our viewers. If you're here for the very first time, we're happy to have you viewing with us. Because whether you're virtual or you're here in the physical space, God is happy to have you. Worshiping at this time. I'm going to call a set of names. If I leave out any, you can tell me. Let me see who is brilliant now. Um, Arville Taylor. Mm -hmm. Brother Haiti. Deacon Carl. There is something about these persons. About this month. Can anybody tell me? Yeah. Alright. Who is not celebrating birthday? They are celebrating what? Anniversary. Anniversary. And we don't want to forget them. We know that they have said it already, but we continue to thank God for these persons who celebrated. And also, oh, Brother Roche also celebrated. No, oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought somebody was pointing a while ago. Okay, the 30th. Okay, it's about, all right, it's about to happen. So Brother Roche is looking forward to celebrate what? Birthday. Birthday on the 30th of December. My, my gosh. Brothers, let us look forward to celebrate that day. Amen. We said 30 days of September, April, June, and November. So it is one day before the last day. Brother Roche got the last, the day before the last day. Amen. It seems like God was saying, look here man, you're not going to January. I'm going to let you burn in December. Amen. And we thank God that Brother Roche was born in December. Amen. And so we are happy for that. Is there anyone that we left out who celebrated earlier or who is going to be celebrating in December? Oh, we said it already. Oh, Rashida. Okay, that's when. Okay, Sister Denny's daughter. Okay, she's another one. She came the last day in December and God decided. I don't know how God, I don't know how God did it, but God knows how to do his work. He decided that, look here man, none of you are going into January. And so God decided that they're going to be born in December. And so we are happy that Rashida and Brother Roche did not miss the month of December. Well, it's a special month. Amen. And so I want to welcome everyone. But before I go, let me share a short story with you. You know that God is a very considerate God. God is a kind God. Amen. But do you know that even thieves sometimes are considerate? Let me share a little story. A story was told of a man who went to rob a house. But when he went to rob the house, guess what happened? It seems like he had a lot of time. The man got hungry. And during the robbery, the man cooked a pot in the man's house. And when he cooked the pot, guess what happened? He left some for the owner of the house. So I was saying, if a thief can be so considerate, how much more our God who is righteous and holy and full of truth and grace. How much more our God shall he not be considered to us who call unto him day and night. God bless you today as we continue to call upon him and worship him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Dove. Thank you so much. You always love a story. Thank you, Brother Dove. And now we'll have the offering. 
Um, so ushers and uh, praise team, could you please join me up here? Mm -hmm. want to do it as quickly as possible. This week, morning devotion will be our last week of devotion. And the theme is the greatest gift of all. So this week, Monday to Thursday, our regular morning devotion and the theme, the greatest gift of all. And on Friday morning, our pastor, the Reverend Linva Lewis, will bring a Christmas message for all of us. So you can tune in 7.30 a.m. And as you know, last week, Wednesday, is our last Bible study time. Yes! It was our last Bible study time. So there will be no Bible study this Wednesday coming. So, you know, you're in the festive season, so you'll get a little break. But guess what? They said, lay hands on and no man, but I'm going to have to do this. Boxing Day, you always have the IT and the fancy cat show. And I don't know if we are going virtual or physical, but he's here. And he's going to tell you quickly about the Boxing Day show at this time so you can tune in with the 
whether virtual. So I want to hear something because you know here time we look forward for it. Yes, and he may surprise. But he's right here. Boxing day the show on. <laughs> no, seriously, every year, last year, so been 60 years, and this year is no different. Well, it is different because it's virtual, it's going to be online. So, you who are online can watch the show, tell everybody everywhere. In fact, right, right now, the show it costs $19.99 US or $24.99 if you want the virtual meet and greet. But for this weekend, for this weekend, it's $9.99. And listen, you're getting the king of comedy, Oliver Samuels himself, myself, and fans, you get Dalia Harris, Kathy Grant, Johnny Daly, you have the Latin American champion, Gina Brian, I mean, out of Canada, Jay. look here, a lot of acts. And the important thing is, it goes toward a worthy charity in Trenchtown, my hometown, Dennis Canrilly, Pastor can relate, you know, because key in life, he's been building some houses for the less fortunate. Because listen, when you live in that community and you take care of the less fortunate, it's out of product. Because a less fortunate community are ready to live there and take care of is a beautiful story. So I'm helping you right now to a current project. Um, her name is Natisha and she lives in a makeshift toilet on Second Street. And trust me, I've been wanting to do something that I think would be memorable, not only to them, but also to go there, my past and friends, to minister to them. And this is an opportunity, not only to bless them, but to pray for them. And by our relationship, or by our day, we can invite them to Christ Jesus. So will they help us this year? This year, they are helping us to help them. Thank you very much for inviting me. Oh, yes, thank you very much. Mr. Ellis, that's our brother Ellis. Yes, thank you very much. We look forward for it every year. And it's different, right? Because you listen to when look live stream and have a popcorn and stuff. So we're missing some things in the physical space. Now, quickly, our watch night service. This year, yes, in spite of the curfew hours, we'll be having our watch night service begin seven to 9 p.m. And guess what? Of course, you'll be streaming. We'll be streaming live watch night service. You will hear more as we go along. But bear in mind, we'll be having our virtual watch night service and limited person in the physical space as we practice at this time, same way. So it's 7 to 9 p.m. And I must tell you, viewers, for those who overseas, our pastor, the Reverend Lewis, I can tell you, he have different type of gifts for those who are in the physical space. We have a gift for you here, you know, who are watching. So you know what? You can touch base and let me know how you can get your gift overseas, right? So we have gifts for you overseas and we have gifts for those who are in the physical space from the Greater Portmore Tabernacle Church. And... Last, we're just going to ask you, please, don't let the Christmas season show off everything. You need to adhere to the curfew rules and the COVID protocol. Don't get excitement all oh, Christmas and the works and all of this. Please remember to adhere to the guideline. I pray that you have a merry, merry Christmas when it comes. And, you know, stay put. Stay calm, enjoy yourself, eat up your rice and peas. And for some people who don't eat some things that I eat, I like pork and gungo rice and peas. Some people like fried chicken and gungo rice and peas. Some don't eat no gungo, they eat different things, ham and all this stuff. So guess what? Eat healthy this Christmas. Have a good and godly day. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Anne-Marie. And we'll now have the scripture by Sister Anastasia. It is taken from Philippians 3, verses 12 to 21. Good morning, church. Good morning, sister. So once again, the scripture reading is taken from Philippians 3, verses 12 to 21. When you found it, please stand.
and date release. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have appreh apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, let us, as many as are mature, have this mind, and if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal even this to you. Nevertheless, to the degree that we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us be of the same mind. Brethren, join in following my example and note those who so walk, as you have us for a pattern. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is, the, is in their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. 21 and last. Who will transform our lowly body, that it may be conformed to his glorious body, according to the working by which he is able, even to subdue all things to himself. This is the word of the Lord we honor it by saying, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Thank you, Sister Nastasia. Without further ado, we'll now have a special from the youths. Please clap them while they come up. After which, we'll have the word from our dear brother, Ian Ellis. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Can I give up? Can you give a hallelujah for me? Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We we will be singing a song to you this morning. Um, and it says, Lord, I want to know you. And to know God is not an ordinary matter. It speaks to relationship. Amen? Amen, church? Amen. So I pray that this song ministers to your hearts. Amen? Amen. Say, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God all the praises this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
again. Without further ado, we will now have the word from our brother Ian Ellis. So let us quiet our hearts even right now.
I want to thank the moderator, Sister Vashti Lewis, this morning. And also I want to greet the leadership of the church. Of course, as always, Reverend Pastor Linval Earl Lewis, the First Lady Sister Anne-Marie Lewis. And the leadership also includes the administration, the deacons, deaconess, deaconess Sister Imogene is here, deaconess Sophia Hobbs. They are both here. I want to greet you this morning. A very good morning, church. Good morning. Is there anybody here who has been changed? Amen. 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 Is there anybody here who has been changed? Amen. Oh, mighty God. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let all those that hate him flee before his face. As smoke is driven away, so driveth them away. As wax melt before fire, so let the wicked melt at the presence of God. But let the right rejoice. Let the righteous rejoice. Let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. And yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Father God, Almighty, Omnipotent God, Loving God, I pray, Holy Spirit, take control. Bless your words to my thoughts, to my lips, to the congregants' ears, those who are in the sanctuary, those who are online watching now, and those who will meet this later on. Cause it to pierce hearts and to be memorable and to be changing that they too can say, I have been changed. I thank you now, Lord God, for what you're about to do in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Forward ever! Forward ever! Forward ever. Now go back. Amen. I'm sorry for those who are watching online from overseas. I am not going back. You know, in case uh, you don't understand the vernacular, I just want to make it clear. And of course, you heard the Bible being read in Patois. No, the pronunciation is Patois. But let me just say, me now go back. Am I alone now go back? Who is now go back? You know, if I was a model, right? Uh, I'd have to take some of the characteristics of modeling. And one of them, you know, as a sister Casey who used to model before, is watching now because she wants to make sure I do the right thing, you know what I mean? And this occasion is uh, one of the members of the choir, our sister, our awful moderator, powerful woman of God. So she's watching me carefully now because she also sings, she dances, and she models. Now, one of the characteristics is that you look so and you walk so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> if you never do that, you never mag rest against them. You have to look so and walk so. Now, can I invite my brother? I'm so happy. God is awesome enough. Because God knew that he's going to organize this right now. Angels, he has this patch round about this place like a wall of fire to protect our word, to protect our fellowship right now. You can't see them, but they are here because we invite them and because Jesus Christ instruct them and they are ministering spirits who will heed to the voice, the word of God. And we call the word of God, they must come surround. You know what I mean? When I say, let them arise, enemies kept on them, must come. Our enemies kept on themselves. Okay? Yeah. We never saw one a while ago. Yeah, yeah, My sister yeah. Sophia and Nika is kind of late. They protect themselves fast. Because where God present is, then chaos did. Like they get up on the camera, and, 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 and put it, put it, put it, put it. Take for themselves. See him here. So, my brother, Raphael, son, me never tell him, him say, I want to know God better than me, himself. You want to know somebody a being outside of yourself more than you know yourself? What a beautiful son. People are never me asking to see. See that? You can ask him. Beautiful rendition supported by three wonderful daughters of Christ. <laughs> wonderful. Sister Anna Kay, who will cause tears to come from Sister Sophia when she's on the global leadership platform. In Cincinnati, Ohio, in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, in place. 
message. And when she sings, when she sings, she's gonna minister. And Sister Sophia gonna promise him, That's my daughter! That's my child! And I see coming, body blossoming is coming. Her confidence is coming forth. So when you see them on the stage, watch about this video. It's not normal. If you wonder who she was, she was in a red velvet. Looking very, very humble, but I tell you something, it's because Christ humble, why is she humble? But she carried the spirit of Christ. And of course, the other two young ladies. Oh, mighty God. Can I go there? Hallelujah. Those two ladies who are orators, who speak the English language eloquently, fluently. That is why Sister Najali was recording them. Because I have to see this. Yeah. I have to see them read this in Papua. Because Papua is a difficult language. Yes. Yeah. Alright, daughter D. Hey. But these are daughters of Christ. So what you witness is beautiful. I never planned it. But my brother was saying also, he's at the back and me never planned that neither. I was open and when I come, I'm gonna look and see who's at the back. My brother was saying, can you come here for me, please? He's an obedient son of God. I was blessed to be at his wedding and I call him Sugar Rasin. I know he has smiles. God, that's her sugar husband right there. No, he's coming here. Tell me, listen. I want you to stand right in front of the camera so those who are online can see you, alright? And, and face me, face me. Put your back to the camera. The stand, come back this this way. Wonderful, wonderful. No, it's very simple. I want you to return to your seat, walking backwards. Let me ask you before you go, because you're an intelligent man. Can you return to your seat right now, walking backwards? I mean, of course, you know, there's, a, there's something in your way, so you're going to have to pick one of the eyes. Can you attempt it? You can attempt it? Ladies and gentlemen, comrades, brothers and sisters, all, my brother was saying, Bay, he is the president of the men's fellowship. Yeah. He is no known about them inside the church. He's a humble servant of yeah. God. Yeah. And we love him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Well, Sister Ray, so the Lord is aware of him. Like I see a Lord, we love him. We love him too. Yeah. My brother was saying, return to your seat, walking backwards. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Buck up in the one chair already. But you know, he's going. Isn't he going? Yes. He's going. Let's see if he completes the task. He's going. Online they can't see him, but he's going down. He's going real quickly too. And he's almost at his his seat. Give her an applause. He's completed this task. Sister Imogene was a little worried for him a while ago because he came into her eye. Now, Brother Machine, I know they can't hear you, but I'll repeat for them. Was that uncomfortable? Yes, it was. Going backwards, right? Yes. If you're at a bus stop, Brother Raphael, yes. you know, by chance, you know what I mean? And you are there waiting on the transport, maybe a taxi or so, for whatever reason it is. You know, you decide to park your car that day, yes. you know? And you see somebody walking backwards, Sister Casey, to the bus stop. From way up the road. Follow me now, Sister Anne-Marie, because we know you're dramatic, you know? <laughs> you see somebody walking backwards, coming towards them the bus man, stop, right? Them man. Them, and them, them the two, right? They're walking backwards, and when they reach the bus stop, they want to have a conversation no. with you. <laughs> Come on, talk to me now, church. <laughs> Brother Smith, <laughs> would you talk to them, Brother Smith? Huh? You, that, you see them walk from my list? And would you answer? All who would answer, let me see two hands right now. Sister Deaconess Imogene alone. People are online, only one person showed both hands. Deaconess Imogene. I asked the congregants, my mothers. If the person walked backwards to the bus stop and want to have a conversation, would you talk to them? Nobody said anything except Sister Imogene. And Sister Anne-Marie too, yes, thank you very much. I want to ask both hands. 
Yeah, yeah, both hands went up. Yes, my sister Anne Marie, first lady, she put her hand up. I think the father said, Look here, my brother IT, if everybody gone, and my have sister Anne Marie alone, I'm having church. That's my church. That's my church right there. You know what I mean? And I said, I'm not worried about it. She read notices, she'll sing the songs, she'll exalt, she'll worship, and she'll sit back down and say, Amen. When I go up here, I am having church. Whether I'm a million or one family. Yeah. Oh, for the other thing, move up to get my gun. Oh, yeah. I'm again, move up gun. I have asked to know what I know. I'm going to have this time, Marie. Yeah. Until God decides for me, Carol said, a beautiful place. You know what I mean? Then, until then. But I'm telling you this, though. You know, I said, for whatever. In Ghana, a West African country called Ghana, the first president, his name is Nkuma. His name is Kwame Nkuma. He is credited with that word. So when you hear it, forward ever, backward never, he has been credited. The first president of the West African country, Ghana, he has left a legacy for the African nation for them to hold that positivity. Forward ever, backward never. I'm going all to say Going back is already a difficult thing. It's very hard to walk back. If somebody walking backwards, you don't want to talk to them, sister, sister, sister Sophia. No, because backwards is not what ought to happen. We should be moving forward at all times, right? Yes, yes. So also people want to see you and want to talk to you. But we're gone a long time. Remember last week, they never talked to me. That gone. May I talk to you now? That gone never come back. Let me ask you, have, have anybody here trying go, going back with anything? Yeah. I know um, I'm Deaconess Imogen, have some shooters to love, right? You know, she has some shooters to love, right? I mean, she has some shooters to love, but when they just buy the shoes, they say, man, I used to love it, I used to live in it every time, you know what I mean? But she has so <laughs> many shoes, she don't have to worry about them right now, you know what I mean? So today, you know, she might wear this color, that color, to what she's wearing. Today, you can't see her shoes in a nice black shoes over her ankle. Or two, her feet is solid with the God's blood. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Have you ever tried going back? Back to when you had that job. You lose some friends, you know? Back to when my brother Sammy was alive. Have you ever tried going back? Like going back in life. I think about back to that big contract right now, darling. That big contract, you know? Let me not say anything as about it, you know what I mean? Have you ever tried going back? When you just meet your husband or you just meet your wife, have you ever tried going back? No. My brother don't they want to go back to the meet husband and wife. That not happen well, wife. That not happen yet. He wants to go forward to that day. And I mean it's a race. My brother Taylor. I don't know who gave you to line first. <laughs> but they are racing forward. No, the point is they are going forward, right? You know, back to when you were slim. You know, back to when your belly flat. Me, you want to go back to me look a bigger size of me and I close them good after. No, you cannot go back. You have to keep going forward. And I'll tell you something. The Apostle Paul, he spoke about that. Oh, that minister of the gospel of Christ. He was a Pharisee. He spent time in the book of Philippians. Philippians is a place called Philippi. It's a Roman colony. Them not like that message that Paul was bringing, that Jesus Christ was the king. So when he wrote this, he made a prison. Anybody here want to prison? <laughs> nobody put on me and nobody. Go pray. But when he's, well, go pray. <laughs> but he don't want to stay too long. I went to perform and I said three words, none shall escape. I said, all right then. Yeah. When I was leaving, that's on the gate to them. General pay attention, none shall escape. But the point is, he was in prison writing. Philippians and Philippians from that place. I tell you something. He was preaching the gospel of Christ. Some believe, a matter of fact, in, Philipp in, in Philippians they sent money to him and all that. You know, in leave being a Pharisee, those highly respected religious leaders just come to be a tent maker. Him now go back to that. No time because he's going forward. So in Philippians 3 10 and 11, he said, Like my brother son, he said, I want to know Christ. He said, I want to know Christ. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation, Philippians 3, verse 10 to 11. He said, I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. 
I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. Anybody here want that? Online on the square, that is what I'm trying to tell you, you know what I mean? It's a tough thing for most of us when we hear, say, the experience suffering. We don't like suffering. It's the truth. We have to be honest with God. But we have to be obedient to God. You know, let me say this. The pursuit of God calls for, my pastor would say, a radical commitment. It has to be rooted and grounded. And let's speak to the men. Godly men, throughout history, have risked it all for the gospel. Stephen risked it all for the gospel. Paul gave up his life for the gospel. I told you before, he was a Pharisee, you know? You know, I came in very late last evening, right? I was at a function. The function I did last evening, we had to rehearse the day before, and also on the morning of the show, we had to go there for uh, three hours rehearsing, right? So, we rehearsed three hours, and we didn't start until about two hours after, waiting long. Anyway, I had to go back there in the night, the show was between 9 p.m. and 12. And I was telling Karen that it's going to be difficult for me to come prepare this morning. You know what I mean? No, she was saying to me that, boy, you know, I wonder if, you know, maybe, you know, it is a good time to do it. I'm going to say, listen. Listen to me. Come on. Me. Come on. Now I go back no, to any time no. where my work gets more important on, than God, than Jesus. Something I have to give, and it's not Jesus Christ. Time said what to care of me. So my source is not the job. Irrespective of what Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I'm not coming. I want everybody here. You understand? I'm not going to take me out, right? Don't then pay me good. Look here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a team. You understand? I'm telling everybody, you know. You know what I mean? Be good. But anyway. So I was conflicting. You know what I mean? Because I say if I go under that, I mean I can't wake up myself. Ask, ask my sister, sister Karen here. Right, Karen, put the two hundred here. It's the two hundred and you see there? I said, no. Me I go. And whatever time I come home, me I go. Now let me tell you something. My wife is beautiful enough. Let me tell you something. When I come home, Bible. Late night, me I prepare. I don't care. I am preparing myself to come here this morning. Come in hour. Minawa. 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 Go back. So I'm here by his grave. And listen, we can't check that out. No. God knows you are too. God knows you can't check for him. And if you can't check with him, you can't check him. You might can't check him. But we can't check him. So I have to make sure I present myself. You know what I mean? He can detect the zeal in me for his word and his ministry. And I say, Lord, I'm going to tell Karen, he said, Minawa, hold the spirit of God, I'll give you a word. Because now, Today, time oh mighty God, trust me, Paul said he want to know Christ. You know what I mean? So I said, no, I'm going to do the Matthew 6.33. Look it up when you have time, I'll tell you what he said. I'm doing the Matthew 6.33. In the Philippians 3 and verse 12, he said, I don't mean to say that I have already attained. Because we can't brag and boast, you know, like we'll reach now. No. But he said, Apostle Paul said, I, have, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Now I'm a press. Let me tell you, the pursuit of God is not a journey. Well, it is in fact a journey, but not a destination. Because the pursuit, that moving, that pursuing is a continuous pursuit, is a journey. True discipleship takes grit. You have to stand up and ready. True discipleship. I like my brothers and see walking in right now. True disciples. Brother Raphael, Brother Roshane, and Brother Kendrick Batchcom. Disciples of Christ Jesus. You know what I mean? It takes grit. At the time of writing, I told you, Paul, he, he was in the prison, right? And he's one of the most formidable. You heard about you hear about him all the time of New Testament times. You know what they thought they were perfectly following the law as a Pharisee, you know. But the point is not to get to perfection. The point is the pursuit. You know? Yes. Not about, no? No. You know what this week? You know, I feel comfortable with that. Can I talk to you? Yes. I must be this is a safe place, right? 
I don't think I can share with you. Right, Sister Anne Marie? Amen. Because what I say here will stay. Amen. No. And this week, for the first time in my house, there was a kind of confrontation that resulted in the raising of my voice. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember, you told me I can't tell you anything. <laughs> you know? So, if you say you love me, say I love you, I love you, IT. You know? You know? You know? So, no job, right, Dennis? Yeah, I shouted. I used, used good words. Thank you, Jesus Almighty. But that's still, not, that's still an excuse, right? Yeah, yeah. I was shouting. And it was unbecoming. My wife said, Control your outbursts. Because that, what I'm hearing, is a glimpse of the old man. Yay! 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 That's why you have to have your sister who in Christ to you know. Me thank God. I think he blessed me. We are married and it's yoked. We are equally yoked. And the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, it's a two are better than one. Say if one fall, one can lift up the other. Say if I step out, can we the purple kingdom? She can say, hey, control your own purse. You know what I mean? You understand what I said? Give my sister one applause because trust me, she has follow Christ. I had to control my outburst. And I was trying to rationalize it to say, you know, I don't like to do it every time again. You know? Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. I like a regular, regular. And a regular too, I mean, yeah. the fact that you can highlight it means that uh, you have never seen it in a long time. But it no excuse it. No. Because that is. No. That is. When the Holy Spirit goes up, we used to do a while ago. You know, sometimes we slip up and the Holy Spirit have a joke we do. Yeah, yeah man, I'm trying to rap and tell me, say, oh, we used to do a while ago. Yeah, yeah man, Jim, yeah. bad body, no. And you, you can't say clean, no. That's all you know, the Holy Spirit living in you. Can we have a second? You feel it, you feel it, you feel it, you feel the discomfort in your mind. You feel the discomfort. Like when I ask, sister, hope there is a stop. Do you feel it all down, no? And they said, no, I don't have it. I went to work with you, feel like, oh, I should not give you a look. I have so much money right now. You know? You know? She's uncomfortable. And like I'm going to say, no, so I said, my brother, I see the 50 dollars. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's how we play. That's how we stay. Now, the point is, I felt that discomfort because I raised my voice to one of my daughters. Let me not go any further in that. You know what I mean? But the point is, we slip up sometimes. But God says, Oh my God, if we confess our sin. You saw people tell, tell the whole on you. You understand what I said? He says he's just and faithful to forgive us. Because we can't tell you move. Paul said in Philippians 3.30, we are close to him now because we made a fast message this. You don't believe that, alright? He said, my dear brothers and sisters, I have achieved it, but I focus on this one thing. What's that one thing? Let me see. In that Bible study, but what's that one thing? He forgets the past. He said, forgetting the thing past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and to receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. He press on. Anybody here pressing? Press Anybody here pressing? Say amen. Press say I'm pressing on. Online camera here, say I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on. But now I go back. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Say, I'm not going back. I have to be proper sometimes. The pursuit of God is a forward looking thing. It's not caught up in the past. No skeleton in your closet can disqualify you neither. It no matter where you go through, God said, Come as you are. In no business. If I only in your hotel, tell him. Because it's safe with him. You know what I mean? No one can disqualify you from a pursuit of God. Some of us struggle with the mistake of the past. You see? And it's with the enemy, the enemy wants to kill the guy. Said, I'm a son, and he said, See, you saw your son a while ago, I saw you steal. Yeah. I was like, Get the behind me, Satan. Yeah. I'm no longer that man. Yeah. Don't tell me years. Yeah. Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. take control. I close my ears to the enemy and the adversary. I open only and submit to God so I can resist. And I submit to God, I resist to them. And I submit to God, hey. I this submitting is a resisting them. Yeah. not that time resist like this, you know. Like I resist. No, it's a submitting to your back and submit to God and resist the devil. In one keep it, make it remind about some of the past things for God a long time. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't give me tell about that thing there. 
Learn that you are not your past. You cannot see it. You can't walk backward. If somebody walk back to you, now chat to them. Exactly. So don't ever be fooled by the enemy's devices. Check Paul life again. Paul said, give up everything to know Christ. Amen. He give up everything. He was right there. Paul was right there when the first Christian martyr, Stephen, yes. he was murdered. Yes. He was right there. Them knowing. You understand? And he did nothing. As a matter of fact, he went further. He go with a decree for continuous some murder and you know some yeah, persecution yeah, yeah, yeah. until God said, yo, 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 Brother. yo. Oh yeah, dear little son. Uh, I'm paraphrasing actually. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. Him so yeah, dear little son. All right. Nothing on the fear look away. So do so don't give my till power of you. You know what I mean? But he had to close his eyes to his past. Hallelujah. Can I preach this morning? Hey. Can I preach this morning? Hey. 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 Sister Andrea alone, I preach this morning, no man. But he had to close his eyes. God closed his eyes to his past. Because he was going to own it back to a new future. Amen. To amen. a present. Can somebody amen? Somebody say amen. amen. Let me tell you something, man. He never went back. He continued pressing. Did Paul make it to perfection before he died? No. But he no stop pressed, no? Sometimes we stop pressed, no? I'm talking about Isa, who come to us on the morning and want to get busy because yeah, yeah, yeah. who are the Christmas pudding and we get busy you now and thing, you know what I mean? And you have a call this person and thing, you know what I mean? And get the Christmas thing all right, and decoration and thing. I'm going to ease up, you know what I mean? But trust me, I, now they listen to me, trust me, I am committing myself to God. So, Lord, if you hear something, come on. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Just, yeah. You understand? Yeah. And walk in peace. That peace that surpasses human oh. understanding. I have it. Do you have it? I have it. Final thing. Oh my God, what's the final already? Yeah. Philippians 3 18 20. Paul said, I'm writing in Philippians. For I have told you often before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes. What's the mother to say? I'm going to feel like I pass up Paul too. <laughs> I'm not following him. <laughs> but as he's following Christ, yeah. I'm right there with him. Yeah. You understand? Because Paul said to him, Paul said, as long as I follow Christ, you know what I mean? As long as I'm my pastor, I'm right there with Christ. P, P, clock, clock. And so I'm going, sister, I'm right there with him. P, P, clock, clock. And for the time, he's sister, I'm right there with him. P, P, clock, clock. Till I meet her husband's gone, clock, clock, P. Somebody say why? I tell him that. Feel it down me. Hey. Holy Spirit, thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Paul said, I say it again with tears in my eyes. That there are many whose conduct shows that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things. They think only about this Life here on earth, oh, this year, one, all of it, everywhere, right through. Say, hey, if all the things that all around this, make I shut down this in Italy, in Egypt, in Africa, in Asia, and make I shut this down because of one thing. I want to stay in the yard, economy suffered, people suffered, but we recognize no matter how powerful and rich we are. Trust me, that year people lose money, millions, billions in different currencies. The only problem is they lose life. Lives were lost this year. This year is the year. But are we here? Is there anybody here who has made it to December? Amen. Is there anybody here in the church who made it to December? Amen. Come on, sister. Play, play something, sister. Play something, sister. Come on, man. All those who made it to December, stand up, I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing. You made it, stand up, you made it to December. By the grace of God, it's not by your will. You wake up this morning, and because you just will yourself, your eyes could have never opened. There are people who never made it to this December, and we know to the end, John would say, but I praise God and think, hallelujah, hallelujah. We have to say it and give God thanks from a belly. You know what I mean? Come and it to December. Thank you very much for standing. As I come down and I close, you may be seated. Listen. Let me just share this last thing with you. I 
last thing, last thing, man. I decided last thing, man. You know, I got a booking to do a show weeks. And then what I'm two days before, they call our booking to say I need to do a COVID-19 test to do the show. Yeah. Now, I've been doing several shows, different places, right? Yeah. Online or something, I'm going to the organization. But that requirement has never been one that came up. Yeah. What we do, we do the, the exam with the protocols, you know? Yeah, yeah. We'll go, we'll get the temperature checked. We sanitize, we wear a mask, and we'll go. These people, the 11 hours said they want to change the contract. Well, they didn't say that. They must call. Very suspect. I'm big enough, old enough to explain that if you're going to change the contract, it has to be written. Yeah. Because we have a written contract already. Right. So contract 20, it never made sense to me. I mean, my booking agent was very eager to get it on because the show is like two days, you know? Let's go do the test. So I said, hmm, hold on a second, then. Oh, boy, that's it. Yeah. Oh, but do no test now. So they pass it one, one. You pay me already, you know. You yeah. understand? Yeah. I mean, I, I started to have a discussion about it, and they were saying, no, it's a requirement. I said, all right, you know what? I do the test, but I don't know. Who me, by the way? Because I'm going to do the blood one. Because first of all, doing the, the rapid response test, because they right. get the results right away, you know what I right. mean? Right. They're using the one of them to take your blood and things. So I said, if it is a go on, may I go back to my doctor, who know me a long time. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. So I said, I feel more comfortable. So I call my doctor. And said, so, well, yeah, you know, I want to do the test and thing. He said, when the show, they show and thing. I said, hmm. He reason me and show me, said, wow, um, I don't understand why they be introducing this to you right now. Because the truth is, I mean, that's a rapid response test and thing, you know, it's a requirement um, for them and thing. But it's not something I'm wondering. If, if, uh, if you wanted to come and do the test, come and do the, 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 the nose swap and, you know, you're right. not getting at the same time, you know what I mean? Right. Anyway, all along this, the point, the point is, I was uncomfortable after talking to my doctor. I'm saying, what's going on with that test at all? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, well, I can't I'll introduce this. So I'm telling them, tell them listen, if you are uncomfortable, I'll come inside the space. I will social distance. I'll wear my mask and everything and thing. Look here. The whole day we couldn't do all the work. We have show for promote. We were focused back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on this one thing. You know what I mean? And I said, you know, I've already said that if my doctor will do it, I'm going to tell him, say, no, he said to me, find out who is the person who will do it. Can you, you know, say, may I come in and if I ask the boy, I would come in and I say, Lady Smith, you know, I'm going to recommend somebody who knows, say, you know, can, you know what I mean? Because some is still in the industry and thing, you know what I mean? Point is, he said, well, no, I tell him who he was. Eventually, I told him who he was and he gave me to go ahead to do it. So, I said, all right. I mean, I'll shorten the story. So, all right. I'm going to say, all right, we go and do it. People, yeah. I'm going to do the test on the day of the show. What? <laughs> Hallelujah. So, me I drive in on, I mean, I was supposed to go with um, Najal, Najal, I mean, for whatever reason, I said, you still have somewhere, me alone to go, you know what I mean? So, me go up the people, listen, we are close on this. When me go up the people now, I was already told that everybody else tests except me. So, therefore, now, when me go there now, everybody negative, you know what I mean? No, I to come, and they probably would have heard about the delays and the contract and all, oh, you know what I mean? I wasn't knowing no haste to do it. So I'm going to people that them face shield and them mask and thing and I'm going to have to walk around. Bossy set up is an expensive bossy show. Big company, thousands of them employees, and it's a very exorbitant setup. Anyway, we're going there and sit down. People, when I go in there, I tell you something, you see? I felt, I mean, I'm being honest on here. I felt the man that two uh, come near me. Cause they don't know. No, the point is right now, we don't know anybody else who COVID 19 are passing because you can walk around asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. Not showing any symptoms and be carrying it, you know what I mean? So the man now uh, come near me. So I'm sitting on myself, what is my life? Look at the people. <laughs> <laughs> my God! It is well. I said, Lord, you know. However, this turn out, it is well with you. Me the business. Me business where you want to. So if it's negative, me good. If it's positive, you have some less plan. So me don't worry either which way. Because you are my God, you are my source. That's a bold statement, you know. And I'm my flesh, you know. That's not my flesh. My friend said, yo, yo. You understand me? I said, yeah, tell her. That's not my flesh. Hey, a COVID-19 test is like an HIV test. Remember the years ago? Yeah, man, the problem. You know what I mean? So, all right. 
the, the medical practitioner, they, they came now, so I have to be, I have to go outside. Me and the one now, our big door shut, and thing, and um, it's been a test at 12.32 p.m., right? And she told me that in 10 minutes or so, between 50, 10 minutes or so, she know the result. Anybody out here for 10 minutes yet? Who yeah. ever wait for 10 minutes? I bust up yet? I don't think that. Anybody for the come back, come back, come back, come back yet? I don't think that. It was the longest 10 minutes. No, when it reached 11 minutes, we already know. I mean, all time, my guys say, oh, it's so organized. I am all time with that. I'm all on all time. Come on, come on, side, come on, phone. Can I check you on time? You know what I mean? Distract myself. Yeah. And then, when 11 minutes come, then they'll come. Yeah. 12 minutes time, then they'll come. Yeah. And then 30 minutes, Mr. Wanamai is coming and rush down in the office when they do it. And I wait. I'm going to say, so. If they're not coming, let's go and go on. You know what I mean? Then I heard that another person who was on the show was passive at the leave. So I said, this thing is sticking. You know what I said? So I was doing it in 14 minutes, then they'll come. Then I said, another manager, come out and say, why are you still not here? You get the result? I said, no. All right, I'm going there. So I wait now. Three people got in the door. So I said, what's the big deal? Then I said, you know what I mean? So I'm out there and wait now. Probably about the next minute or so. Minute long, you know? <laughs> Then I'm next brother walk out now and walk out in, in, in walk far and go over here somewhere. I'm saying, I think seriously, have you you have to have done the COVID-19 test? I'm saying no. I look on the strange. Let me ask you now. Have you ever done the COVID-19 test? No. No, no. I come and think with the walk around the test like that. And there's something I'm not gonna call it, right? Sister Sophia? <laughs> so I said, no, I mean, no reason for the test, you know what I mean? So I go over here son. And the doctor came out with the thing, me keep it. He showed up, me said so. I'm my woman, I go no. And the said, keep it. He came out and said, boy, um, when it says C, you're in the clear. If you look at this, it says C, I'm in the clear. Hey! If you look at my complex, I am not see the clear. But don't watch my complex on the outside. What's, what is in the inside? Because I look at myself, all right, you work it out. Let me not my first talk over and thing. You work it out. It is well. And a good thing, I'm a long guy. So you're on a par, I am got enough. Yeah. Even people that are young, God. But it's when you're alone and roll, you're talking to God and say, Father, I'm going to have a single one. I love you, you know what I mean? I'm in the clear. All right, no, I'm going to finish up. When I come back inside, them deal with different. Oh my God, I'm going to tell the people. The people that will want to come to the house. People that talk to me. I'm going to sit down. Them come on the chair. And then they can go to, oh, I see. Um, you want them to drink? 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 What do you want? What do you want? Juice? Okay. Well, what do you want? I mean, okay, I tell you what I want to take a picture of anything. I want to say, oh, Them same people, yeah. I never want to shut the door away. Look up. The place is pulling them on. Look up. Yes, when I watch, yes, I'm sharing the story. Because I'm going to check where this is. I'm going to be honest and reasonable and think. Them greet me nice and I say, whoa. That you can come as you are. It no matter where you got to, it no matter what affliction in your body, God said, come as you are. It's a come. It no refuse. God has never refused anybody who come to him with a heart after him. And I'm saying to you right now, it's a day to come to him. If you are watching online, yes, you can come to him. Because if I never knew him, I'd have panic out of I would probably wouldn't know. But I was speaking to him because he said, I did. Be anxious for nothing, but not in something, he said, in everything, in everything, even this thing.
praise, yeah. supplication, yeah. with thanksgiving, yeah. make your request known, yeah. and the peace of God with God in our hands. Will, will. That's the God I serve, Hallelujah. and you can serve that God too. Today, yes. you don't have to wait, yes. and they're not gonna, He's not gonna treat you strange. You know what I mean? You ever notice that you cannot touch if you're sick. Nobody now come near you, you know. Yeah. Right? Think about it. If somebody is sick, they can infect somebody who is well. Correct? Yeah. You know, the flu, if you come in contact with the oral secretions and those things, then you can get sick. Yeah. Flip it now. If you are sick, can you touch somebody and be well? When are your friend then? You don't work in reverse, no? No, 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 no you say what no. If you're sick, can you go to somebody who is well, touch them and be well? No, no, right? There's no human being can go to where you're sick. First of all, you must stay far. My Jesus. Hallelujah. He's so whole. Even the garment that he wears, he's whole. And if you touch even the hem of something that is weary, you can get healing. If you don't believe me, check the gospels. That woman who know she couldn't go outside. She was troubled. She was troubled with an Islam girl for so long. She, she never touched him by sister Sophia. She does touch a hem. He is the only person you can touch and get healed immediately. No human being. I ask him. And you said nobody, but I'm telling you, there is somebody who you can touch, who you can get healing, maybe like a friend, but God, Jesus Christ, just one look, one touch, and you can heal by faith. She was healed, and he said, daughter, your faith has made you well. That man, that God, the God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so Oliver, he's calling you today. I'm I'm focusing online because somebody's gonna watch this who wanna receive this message. And there's somebody here in the cemetery right now, as I close, want to meet that man. I can introduce you. I am willing and ready to introduce you to that man. That man on the hand. That man he walked on water. Yeah. You know what <laughs> He walked and what he float in the air. Yeah. That man, he walked and came to wall. Yeah. When he was resurrected, yes. he walked to wall. That man, he healed the blind. Yes. Oh, he made the sick well. Yes. He caused the deaf to hear. Yes. That man, who was, who is, who is to come. Yes. He was raised for all of us. Yes. Anyone who chose to receive him. That man is the good shepherd. That man is our intercessor. That man is the water of life. That man is the king of kings. The Lord of Lords. He said, cast your cares. I did that. Cause he cares. He said, my yoke is easy. My bird light. Do you know that man? I'm telling you, today is a day you can choose him. Come taste and come taste and see. What the song goes? That the Lord is good. Oh, blessed is he who hides him in. Hides him in. Listen, you cannot alter the past. But you can bring the past to the altar of God. You cannot alter the past. But you can bring the past to the altar of God. So if you are here in the sanctuary and online, you can just type in there 876-424-3516. That's my past number. I repeat it. It's in my memory to tell you just like that. 876 424 3516 you can call him. He's always ready for someone whose heart is after Jesus Christ. And anybody here who is ready to know that man, I'm here to introduce you to that man, Jesus Christ. I used to be down there, be very hesitant. Don't want to move. Kind of said, go on up. I said, you know what? I said, you want. I said, you want. You know, you know, he's a move. But if you want to know that man, I am ready to introduce you to that man. I want to know that man. He healed the sick. He made the blind see. You can touch him. He will make you whole once again. He is the man who gives you the agape love. The unconditional love. It no matter what one or where you do, he shows you love. 
Anybody else here? Anybody online? Sister Anne Marie watching online, and she will tell me if somebody has come online who is ready. Anybody here? My brother is here, right, ready. May God, let me tell you something. The Bible said, when one. Did it say two? One, one. Did it say when one. One alone. Angels rejoice. Hallelujah to you. My family. I am so proud that Hassan, I know you are easier. I'm telling you because I said it at the last, you cannot alter the past, but you can bring the past to the altar of God. Bring your past here and receive him. I bless the name of Jesus Christ for this moment. This is a moment that will, you will not forget because it's a moment where when you accept Jesus Christ, Lord, Lord, your life will be transformed immediately. Maybe not, you may not hear any thunder roar or light and flash, but instantaneously, once you receive him, he receives you and he promises you in John 10, 28, nobody can snatch you out of my hand. Nobody. Amen. When him have you, him seal you. Amen. Let me just come down. Sister, help me up with this alone because I wanted to hold this microphone because this is what you call a public confession. Check. 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 Public confession. Check. Check. Yeah. So I'm going to say a very short prayer. I'm going to ask you before I pray. Yes. You came up here at my request. I'm coming. Are you ready to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. You know, I'm ready, you know. The world is very, very rough out there. On a certain occasion, it's people life, yeah. mixing with people, and all of those. You understand? Yeah. Mixing with certain ignorance, and yeah. Yeah. you get me erupted. You yeah. understand? So yeah. I proof from people, and more and ignorance, so I'm for damage people, for reach, I'm going to reach. Okay, so, okay. I plan to try cut from all of that. Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. But I'm going to put myself to that way. I'm not going to live a life for more of a life. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, so yeah. I'm trying to make a, a change. We are yeah. making a Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know, sir, you can't be by yourself. We can't be by myself. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to do it by myself. You have a feeling. Can I tell you, I tried to do it by myself before, and I failed miserably every time. And now, when I'm doing it with Christ, every time any feeling comes, I go to him. So I thank you for coming up here. And there are witnesses, a crowd of witnesses are right here. Yes. Can you Thank join you. the angels? And give a one applause, even before you change. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for what you are about to do, what you already is doing. Repeat after me. So, Father, I accept you. I accept you. Forgive me for all my sins. I repent of them now. Come into my heart and make me whole. I believe that Jesus Christ came died for my sins was raised again on the third day and he is alive today I accept him as my Lord and Savior thank you Lord God for receiving me in Jesus mighty name Amen Hallelujah. 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 Joseph, Father God, I give you thanks, only righteous God, because you said we are a holy nation, a royal priesthood, mighty God, for what has just happened, Lord God. We thank you. And even now in the heavenly angels are rejoicing, and we rejoice with them for this moment, in this month of December. It's personal to me because it was the same month nearly five years ago. You called me unto yourself. It's personal to me because I know this man and I pray that as I move they will follow me as I follow Christ. They will follow me as I follow Christ. And 
therefore, Lord, cause your word to come forth. And when he leave the sanctuary, he will leave with your Holy Spirit. Because you said you seal them when they receive. Having believed, they are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. To guide him, to guard him, mighty God, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. I pray that you wrap your light, your heads around him now. Hate him, Lord, as he goes back to that community and he explains his challenge. He will overcome because you said you are you gave us the more than the conqueror spirit to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. As he go there, mighty God, I break curses that attached to him. I break unclean spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse them now from the root that they go, go now by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I break confusion, the spirit of confusion over his life. I break the spirit of rejection over his life. I break anything that will distract him from you. I break any and everything. Lord God, I render them powerless now in the name of Jesus Christ. If it's not of you and it's not of God, it's not of him this morning. Right now, Lord, I thank you for him, Lord Asani has given his life to your son Smith. I know his name, Lord. You know him more than me. God might know his name, but you know every straw of here on his head. And you count them. He is no Lord. He is no yours, Lord. Take full control over his life. So when he walks, walk with him. Remind him that I will never leave our forsake. Lord, I pray and Lord, he will find himself in a Bible believing church. If you don't yet have a home, the home here is ready for him. I thank you, mighty God, for what you have just done. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My brother, you are saved. Just like that. You are saved. It was organized now for the baptism as the next step. But the first step you have completed, you are now saved. I am here, ready, and I introduce you to the pastor who is the head of this organization, who will guide you and will assign somebody to guide you. You are in good hands. I want to pause again now. Lord, whatever you bind on earth, you bind it in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth, you lose in heaven, Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for the word that gone forth, Lord Jesus. Lord, we know that this wrestling angel will always be in wrestling, but Lord, we know that you are there, Lord Jesus, and everything will be victorious and taken care of. Father, we thank you, Lord, at this time, Jesus, for this young man who come. Lord, we ask that your continue to act and let your power fall, Lord Jesus, and change our heart and mind at this time, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Aite. Thank you. You know, Pastor theme, getting better with Jesus. And Brother Aite, you are getting better better with jesus we thank you we thank you we thank you today can you all stand every day Father God, you are awesome, you are mighty. Put and clear every priest, every corner, every car, every individual. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, dispatch your angels, Lord, to go before us. Dispatch your angels, Lord, to meet us at our doorway this afternoon. <laughs> Father God, for our pastor while they're traveling, coming back home. Father God, we ask that the peace of God which passes our understanding today will yes. dwell with us. Yes. Go before us now. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Refreshment is at the back. So.